All right, so I'm going to use the gold leaf and do this first. So this isn't going to be a perfect match right off the bat, but we're going to layer it. So this should dry very fast, probably in about five minutes. And then once it's dry, I'm going to go again and put another layer of our copper metallic. I'm going to let that dry and come back and show you the copper part. All right, so the spot that we were fixing has dried and it, we did it with the blow dryer. It literally dried in like a minute. And you can see that the gold leaf stands out a little bit. So what we're going to do is add a little bit of the copper in a little bit and just kind of touch it up a little. It adds. bit of the other metallic color in there and as you can see it still stands out a little bit and just kind of touch it up in some areas and this kind of blends it in because on this piece you have a different multi-dimensional metallic it's like copper gold you have the vintage look so once this dries I'm actually going to put in our black walnut to give it that vintage antique look all right, so now that the copper has dried over the gold leaf and I've got the little area mostly repaired, all that's left is to make it look antique. So I'm gonna take our black walnut in our water-based gel stains and use it to add the vintage feel. Nobody will ever know that there was a piece chipped out of this. And it blends in perfectly. It's amazing. We're dying over here. It is I'm so sorry. Good. I was like, this is going to be an epic fail. I was, I was, I was you. I was, I was you. I'm like, it's so off in color. And you look at you this. You guys come back here and look at this. You guys are scaring like, me because I can see you going. <laughs> we're both like, what's going on? I'm like, we're I'm like a bug on my head. Away. Hey guys, I want you to check out this metal key. So it has that old kind of dingy look, and you can see what it used to look like. And I just, I purposely did not finish the back so that you could see. And we did the silver leaf on this, okay? Now I think this is beautiful, and it dried very fast. I did two coats of our Boutique at Royal Collection in silver. But I still want it to feel a little more like vintage and antique. So what I'm going to do is take our water-based gel stain in our black walnut and just add a touch of it in here. Okay. Now normally I would wear some gloves, but I'm just showing you it's non-toxic, it's water-based, you don't need to. But it will get on your skin and you will stain it, so it's not going to hurt you. And so what this will do is tone down the brightness if you want to do that. And then you can use your paper towel. You could use a paper towel. So this will take probably about five minutes to dry. But it gives it a whole different look. Kind of tones the brightness down. I love it. I think it's beautiful and I think this will be great for your hardware and for fixing pieces like this where you want it to tone it down enough that it will still look antique. So this is the black walnut in our water-based gel stains.